All right, Tatarian hunters, I'm standing in front of the Melbourne, the Queen Victoria's Women's Centre, which was originally, originally after the takeover of this dead city, the hospital, the women's hospital. So this is the story, 1848, this was built. <laughs> that's like, like eight, nine, that's like 13 years after we got here. So 13 years after Melbourne was founded, according to history, we built this classic Tartarian bullshit. So, I mean, look at that. 1848. But then it gets weirder because the history books say that 1896, this became the first women's only hospital and that they were taking female doctors that the rest of the world rejected because females weren't trained or allowed to study medicine. Now, according to our history books, that's, you know, women weren't allowed to do anything basically until 10 years ago. <laughs> um, but definitely back then, unless of course all that history is bullshit as well and women actually just like were trained with the Great Reset to do whatever was needed and why wouldn't there be female doctors trained and fresh. Someone's got to learn how to deliver babies. <laughs> Someone's got to learn what a baby actually is and how to deal with them, I guess. Maybe this is where they um, had all the baby cloning centers. No, I shouldn't say such bold statements. But maybe this is where something to do with the reset and babies happened in Melbourne. Um, but look at this little beautiful thing. Right in there. It's the library dome. Hello. Just a cool view. But anyway, so yeah, so should we cross the road and have a look? So it's just an oddity that in 1896, women here in Melbourne were allowed to train and study and be doctors and medical staff. And I think it absolutely <laughs> has to do with the reintegration of children and babies into the timeline. But check it out, it's pretty gorge. Across now, not getting run over. There you go. Can't really see the two dome tops, but they are gorgeous. Let's um, see how mud flooded it is. <laughs> if I walk around here. the back of it obviously that's obviously this is all cemented in yep well this is the side of course all just red brick look at that we built this multi 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 stored building 13 years after we arrived and of course there's no construction pictures So yeah, there you go. Fascinating. Should we do the other side? I can't get in any closer. But yeah, I mean, I have a feeling that this became the place where babies and children may have been reintroduced into Melbourne. If this was in operation as a women's only hospital. I'm gonna walk around the side. This is the landscape. There's that dome. I guess that was from 1848. I know we got cars in that one. Anyway, let's have a look around the side. That's been all paved up. I'm <laughs> just walking in here. 
Well, it's definitely a thousand percent red brick. These lower windows look very modern. Don't have the archways of the facades. This, all, this is all built up, look. Hello. Like, this is all built up. <clears throat> I don't know what the back of it says. At least like here it's built into the hill. Hello. So I'd say there's no facade on this back bit, but let's have a look. Look how many layers I'm walking up and down. This is it from the other side. So, we did pretty good in 1848, didn't we? Laying all those bricks. 1848 we laid all those. I wonder where they all came from. The brickworks we hadn't actually built yet. And the cement works we hadn't actually built yet. And they certainly didn't get shipped over here by a tall ship, that's a fucking certain. It's a simple question, right? Like, how did they get the bricks? And what, how did they feed themselves coming all the way over here? 